Hello there everyone, Roger back again for another video. Uh, this one is my more recent uh, uh, vinyl finds uh, and buys and purchases. I don't know if you can hear this in the background, but I, I don't buy a ton of brand new records, but this is one that's been on my list for a while and I finally just uh, broke down and got it. Uh, I've been needing it. I don't know why I've waited so long to get it, but Joe Walsh, Analog Man. Typical Joe Walsh. Great, good guitar riffs and stuff. But the song Analog Man has a verse in here, and that's what's playing in the background. Uh, I like this verse he has in here. He says, what's wrong with vinyl? I think it sounds great. LPs, 45s, and 78s. But that's just the way I am. I'm an analog man. Uh, I think that may fit a bunch of us out here. But anyway, uh, Joe Walsh. Another new buy. This is Trio Farther Along. This is the third uh, in their series. Uh, this one, you know, they did the original uh, Trio and then they came out with a second one. This one is songs that didn't make the other two or song, different takes, uh, alternate takes of some of the songs that were on the other ones. Uh, and some of these ended up on uh, Amy Lou Harris. Uh, some of her stuff but needed this to go along with my Linda Ronstadt collection so but that finishes out my trio uh, that I was needing and this is a double record set so but I was glad to pick that up uh, I picked up two uh, 45s recently uh, Wilburn Brothers. Uh, the title of it's called Arkansas. Uh, you guys may be familiar with them. I figure Andy over at Andy's Vinyl did. He probably knows the Wilburn Brothers. But I saw that with the picture sleeve, uh, and I can't find it on on uh, in the catalogs I have. Uh, Goldmine catalog didn't list this one, so I'm not sure what the deal is with this. So, but I picked that one up. And I also picked up Led Zeppelin, Good Times, Bad Time, and Communication Breakdown. Uh, this one, it's got a little wear on it, but it's not bad. I mean, it, it's, I need to clean it up a little bit, but it, it's still pretty decent shape. Uh, I played it, a little bit of noise on it, but not bad. Uh, so, my, that's my first... 45 of Led Zeppelin, so I don't see those around very often, so I was glad to pick that up. These next ones I found at an estate sale. This one I had to, I bought it because of the cover. Being, like I said before, playing drums, I saw this, I thought, man, that just looks interesting. Uh, mucho Puente. Uh, Tito Puente and his orchestra. Uh, wasn't sure what to expect from this, but I like it. it it's it's a good, uh, if you like Buddy Rich and some of his type music, uh, Gene Krupa, this guy's right along that vein, that type of music. So, good drummer too. Plays, uh, known for a lot of his marimbas and stuff like that also. Another one I had to pick up. I couldn't let it pass. It was only a dollar. Uh, grew up listening to this one. My dad had this. Great, great record. Merle Haggard, Oakie, Oakie from Muskogee. And uh, live, live recording in Muskogee, Oklahoma. Uh, a lot of his great hits off of this. Mama Tried. Silver Wings, Swinging Doors, uh, Lonesome Fugitive, 
See Me Back Home, Branded Man, uh, Arms of Love, uh, Working Man Blues, uh, White Line Fever, Okie from Muskogee. Just a lot of great Merle Haggard. If you like Merle Haggard, you'll like this if you don't already know about it. But good record. I picked up a couple of these. Willie Nelson. I, I'm just starting to appreciate what Willie's done. Uh, when he first was making it big in the 70s and stuff, I could not stand Willie Nelson. I didn't like his voice. I didn't like his songs. There was nothing about Willie that I liked. Uh, but over the years, I've started to appreciate his music, his talent for writing, and I've even started to like his voice a little bit, which is usually once I don't like a voice, I I'm just can't stand them. But uh, Willie, he's starting to grow on me a little bit. And so. I, I, I like, I'm getting to where I like, and I'm picking up some of his stuff when I get, like I said, all of these that I'm showing you right here were a dollar. That one, uh, which was Shotgun Willie, and then this one, Redheaded Stranger. I know a lot of people have uh, showed this record, and I was glad to pick it up. Uh, haven't spun either one of these yet, but looking forward to this is kind of interesting. Got a little cartoon on the back, but I'm kind of to go along with uh, Willie and one of the outlaws, another one of the outlaws, Chris Christopherson. Jesus was a Capricorn. This is my first Chris Christopherson pickup. Uh, I've seen this around before and just never pulled the trigger. Uh, I still need to spin this. I haven't listened to it yet, but it's only a dollar. I, I, how can you how can you let this go? And all of these were in great shape. You can see the covers are in real good shape. Got a little gloss still on them. Uh, the vinyls are still in excellent shape. So just real glad to pick these up. And uh, this one is a gatefold. Uh, it does have uh, Jesse Coulter. Uh, I'm not Jesse, I'm sorry. Rita Coolidge uh, appeared with him on this. And there's Rita right here. And uh, right here. So, anyway, Rita Coolidge along with Chris Christopherson. My last one, Roy Orbison, Greatest Hits. This is a Canadian press, so I, I was kind of surprised to see that. Uh, but you just don't ever see the Canadian pressings down here in my neck of the woods so uh, of course you can see here all of his hits Only the Lonely uh, Crying uh, Running Scared Dream Baby Blue Angel Candy Man so all great song I thought this was kind of interesting I uh, you got the colored wording and everything with the white background. And the flip side, it's the same coloring except with a black background. Kind of just an interesting different little twist on it. So anyway, that's my recent pickups uh, for vinyl. I uh, hope you enjoyed them. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about any of these. And uh, we'll be checking you all out later. Have a good one. Bye.